If you can answer these questions, you got a chance at your CCNA. So we're going to work towards where if I if I ever throw that out there, you should be able to figure it out eventually. We'll practice it until we get it. Here's the address. First thing I'm going to look at, the only way you can answer this question is by giving the subnet mask. And it tells us the subnet mask right there is slash 28. So you write out the subnet mask. Now that's 28 bits, or is it not? Hold on. 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27, ah, 28. Okay, so now I wrote that out, okay? I actually now can answer a quick question, which is, what is the subnet mask in dotted decimal? If I look at this and I can count in binary, I can see that this subnet mask is 255.255.255.240. Okay? Now, how do I know that? Well, this is in the 128th place, the 64th place, the 32th place, and the 16th place. So you have to know your place values. So maybe I'll put those up here just so I know them. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, right? So 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 is 240. Right? And the only reason I can add that up really quickly is because I've done it a million times. All right, so now, next question. This top question, this is the most important question in my methodology of figuring this out. What is the magic number? If we look here, we say 128, 64, 32, 16, the magic number is the last one. So the magic number is 16. Okay, so. If the magic number is 16, what does the magic number tell us? The magic number tells us a lot. It tells us that the networks go up by 16. So the first network is going to be 133.46.200.0. That's the first network, okay? First network's going to start at zero. Notice how the zero goes in the last octet. Well, which which octet are we talking about where the subnetting is taking place? The last octet. So there's the first network, all right? And since the networks go up by the magic number, the next network is what? 16. And the next network is 32. And the next network is 48. And the next network is 64. And the next network is 80. And the next network is, if I can count by 16, I've got this, I've got this down, 96. And the next network is 112, right? And the next network is 112 plus 16 is 128, okay? So guess what? I can stop right there because my number, 122, is in between the 112 network and the 128 network, right? So since 122 is in between 112 and 128, 122, I've just found out the network. The network address is 112, okay? So if I know the network address, and I know that the next network is at 128, then I know the broadcast address. And the broadcast address is 127. And since 122 is not 112 and not 127, then I know that this is a host address. It's a valid host address, a valid host address, okay? Now, what is the first usable address? Well, that's pretty easy also now. 113, and what's the last usable host address? Well, that's going to be 126, right? So you can see how easily, how easy it is to get some answers that are going to help you. And I'm trying to put some dashes in here just to make it vis visually easier to read. Okay, now there's another question here that I need to answer. And that is, what is the next network address? Well, the next network address is 128. So I'll put that in here, because you never know, I might need to know it. Now, 
Did I need to finish the rest of these? No. Let's say I wanted to go quicker, and I know that the, the networks go up by 16. Well, 32 doubled is 64, and 64 doubled is 128. And then I could work backwards, right, that type of thing. So um, if I see the pattern, I can also jump numbers. Now, the other thing that's nice about the magic number is if the magic number, if we're talking about the last octet, the magic number also tells us how many hosts are in each network. And you can see that each network has zero, let's see this one, zero to what, zero to 15. Each host, each network has 16 hosts. Why? Well, that's easy. How many zeros are there? There's four zeros, two to the fourth power is 16, the 16 hosts. How many subnets are we going to have in this network? Well, we've got how many ones, right? Four. Two to the fourth power is 16, and there's 16 subnets. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and if I keep going up by 16, there'll be 16 subnets. So the magic number tells us a lot. How many hosts are in the network, and it tells us also how many networks there are. This is important to be able to do that and be able to answer these questions quickly and effectively. Okay, does that help at all? I think it should. We could try it one more time and have you guys give it a shot, all right? Let's give it another shot. So what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll reset this and we'll try it one more time, all right? The only way to get good at this is to practice it. All right, this time we're going to do a slash 22, 146 dot dot twenty four dot sixteen dot okay so here's the reset of the um, same problem so yeah let's give everybody five to ten minutes see how you do and I'll go over the answer for this in the next video